Hello there, and welcome back for more little tips and tricks I'm gonna go through on Hobo Tough Life. Five cool little tricks you might want to know when you first start playing the game. Let's jump right in, and I'll speed some of these clips up to try and hurry the video up, otherwise it's gonna be like a fucking hour long. So number one trick is to despawn NPCs. So if I go over to where there's normally guys guarding the supply crates and stuff, like right here. He's going to catch you stealing if you do it right in front of him. Just like that. And if he catches you again, he'll either fight you or call the police. All you do is enter the building behind him, turn around leave the building and oh, he's gone and now we can just steal all of his scrap note that this probably won't work at night time because they lock their buildings at night and you you might need the burglar perk to get in also during the calamity you won't be able to do this but I don't think there'll be NPCs anyway so he catches me again just do the exact same thing and he's gone and you can go back to stealing now this little tip note that I think you have to enter a building that you can move around in because if, if I click on this where it's a building that you just talk like a character sheet here I don't think this despawns them because this guy's still standing here. So just be wary of that. However, if you're being chased by thugs or police for any reason, both of those types of building will work. There's a thug right there. So if you you can despawn them without aggroing them, get out of the way, Meg. Go away. You can despawn the thugs and police just by opening one of these screens on a building. Alternatively, you can use the other one. I think there's one right there. Yep. And that'll despawn them. So where there was a thug in this alleyway, there isn't any more. So I can walk up there freely. And at this point, I zoom around looking for another guy there's normally one spawns in this little park area this time I'm actually gonna get chased off them so you can see that it works and I'm just gonna click on one of those kiosks behind chase me legion chase me If you get we're building in time, he just despawns. Or he gives up the chase and walks away. I'm not really sure where this guy went. I don't know what his pathing was, but that's the idea anyway. You can avoid being beat up or mugged by doing that. If you can get a we're building in time. Number two, I showed this. Avoid the police while you're pickpocketing in the money making guide video. So if people do, well, if police catch you pickpocketing, like right here, he's, he's going to watch me for ages. But if you can open a dialogue successfully with him, it goes away. This is an unsuccessful dialogue. If he does this, if you don't actually start a conversation, he will follow you. He'll hang around for quite a long time. Let's see if I go up this way. See how he's got my attention. Or I've got his attention rather. And it's annoying. And there isn't a building really close to despawn him, like in tip one. But if you can open the dialogue, that's gonna be handy. 
just so they catch me trying to pickpocket here. Two of them this time. Open the dialogue successfully. And then he goes away. But this one's just random chance. But it is a handy tip if you just want to sit around pickpocketing without getting interrupted over and over. Talk to them, they fuck off. And then you can get back to going through people's pockets and stealing their money and their medkits and their mirrors, etc. Tip number three is a good one. Lango's building supplies. You'll have to put in a bit of work to get this one done, but I'll show you how to do it. So from the spawn, you find the guy called Lango's straight in front of you, kind of. But far across these fields, under the arches. And this is Lango's little shack right here. Choose. You're gonna chat to Lango's, talk to him, pick the top options, and he gives you a tip for stealing scrap metal. And you can take the tip where to sell the scrap metal as well. Now this quest, the first time you get it is always in the same place. If you click on the little quest tab, that's the quest Langos just gave us. If you press E you track it and then you go on a uh, men map sorry and you see it's just where here and the Quests really close by. There's about three different places you can do this quest, but the first time it's always in the same place. So there's a guy guarding what we need to steal, and I try and use tip number one to despawn him, but there's no building here to go into, so we're just gonna have to wait for him to finish smoking, unfortunately. Once he steps his cigarette out, this is what we want right here. We're going to pick the lock on that and steal the scrap metal. Steal everything you can over there. And then we've got the tip off Langos where to sell it. But you don't need this if you already know where to go. You don't need this as a quest. But he is just around the corner. I think we just spoke to him recently. Go away, I'm making a YouTube video, you fucking prick. This guy right here, Mr. Coulter, he will buy the quest item scrap. The scrap metals. He buys them 30 coins each. And uh, he will also buy a scrap iron for three coins each, which is shit. And he'll buy any copper wire you find in the game for a good price. I think they're like 30 each. So keep that in mind. Then you're going to go back to Langos. And then you can split the money with them for doing that quest. You get a few options here if you want to rip him off, pay him fairly, or pay him handsomely, and it just decides how much trust you'll get. You'll get like one, two, or three trust, depending on which option. But we want to start building good trust with them as quick as we can. So we'll take that, and you get three trust. Once you've got enough trust, you click on teach me and he has a perk you can learn and if you click on your perk tab right here you can see all the perks in the game you can get it doesn't tell you where to get them all from but we do know that Langos has this one 
and insolence just increases the the chance of you you get an option you can use this now and then and squeeze a bit more coin out of people in certain dialogue situations so it's handy to have anyway what we're gonna do you're gonna do that quest for Langos a couple of times and then he gives you an even better quest and the better one this time instead of getting scrap metal he's gonna want you to get building materials and that's where this tip comes in. It's the same idea. Go on to our map. Track the quest, check where it is. For me, this one's always been in the same place, but it might, might spawn in different locations now and then. I already know how to get here, so I will speed this up and run along and show you just in case you get it in the same location. Same idea again. It's probably going to be guarded by a guy. He's about to put his cigarette out, so I'll just wait. And then we'll pick the lock. steal all these building materials and this time you don't sell them to anyone you go back to Langos which is a shit name by the way you have a really shit name Langos I don't like it it's terrible You tell him, job well done, and again, you've got options how much you want to pay him. You can rip him off if you want to. If you want the money, you can just sell him short. But me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay him handsomely. I need like a couple of points here, so I'll pay him right in the middle, just so I have enough trust to buy his perk. And here you'll see that the, the number in red tells me I don't have enough time units to buy this. But this is actually like a tooltip error. It's some sort of bug. As long as you have the money and the, the level requirement, you actually can buy it. See? Anyway, the point of this tip is to get those build materials you'll notice in the inventory we still have them now the reason these are good to get you're gonna take them to your base go to your crafting table in your base and then you're gonna go on to your dismantle tab right there and we can dismantle the building materials and it tells you what you get on the right there and if you hold the R key it'll tell you what those little pictures symbolize so we're gonna smash them open and as you can see we get a nice supply of wood and tarp and polystyrene, yada yada. This shit is very expensive to buy from a shop. So that tip is actually pretty damn handy. Especially because this is a repeatable quest. You can go to Langos and get this again and again. Anyway. Next tip. Is going to be free morale I had to bring this one up because a lot of guides I've seen people talk about your camp perks right here when you play stuff in your base you can pick a few perks 
that will passively keep your bum alive, help with the survival and shit. And you definitely want this one, the health regen while you're sleeping. You definitely, definitely want that one. It is so fucking handy. People will nearly always recommend getting this one so that your illness goes down while you sleep in your camp. And they will always recommend this one, your morale goes up while you sleep in your camp. In my opinion, these two are terrible, <laughs> terrible perks. My illness never goes <laughs> up. I'm never ill. It, your illness goes down automatically. I, I've, I never even need to use the antibiotics to get my illness down. My illness just never goes d uh, up. But my morale goes down all the time. So, this is where this little beauty comes in handy. This is the arcade machine you can build in your base. And all you're going to do, once you've built one, you just fuck around on the minigame. And when you sit here playing it for a few minutes, your morale goes up in regular intervals. And for anyone interested, there is a Steam achievement if you can get a score of 100 on this, this really easy minigame. <laughs> I like this thing, I hate it at the same time. But you get the idea. Instead of wasting a perk on that. You can just get morale for free with the arcade machine. And if you talk to Mazner right here, click on his barter tab, sometimes he'll sell the broken arcade machine. His inventory refreshes every day or two. So keep an eye out on him, he'll sell you the broken arcade machine. Once you have one in your inventory, you then get the recipe on how to actually build it. There'll be a crafting level requirement. You can get your crafting up quickly by making bummed cigarettes and life bringer and rolled up newspaper weapons and stuff like that. Get your crafting up quickly. Definitely try and get your hands on one of these. That's what you need to build it. You can get arcade machines in the big dumpsters as well, randomly. So just try and keep an eye out for this stuff. And if you need epic junk, you can craft it. Epic crafting materials and stuff. You can make some of them on this tab. So good luck with that. Handy to have. Last one is going to be Henry's Quest. Or rather Henry's Perks to be more specific. This takes a little bit of work getting to. But again... You want Henry's perks, in my opinion, as quick, as early in the game as you fucking can get them. Because they are so strong. They're going to help your survival immensely. They're going to make the game very easy. This is where Henry is. That's him right there. And... When you first meet him and talk to him, you can't really interact much with him. You open a short dialogue and he tells you to go away. So how are we going to learn Henry's perks? You're going to go around the corner, turn right under the underpass and talk to Crazy. You're going to ask Crazy if you can join his crew, go through a little conversation. He gives you a quest where he wants you to collect taxes off three different people. You agree to do that. And then you'll see that one of the three people is our friend Henry. So when you go to Henry, use the catchphrase that Crazy gave you. It's this one right here. Make sure you use the right one. And now Henry gives you a quest. Because he's lost his wallet in the dumpster. You take his quest agreeing to help him out. And Henry's quest 
he wants you to search a dumpster for his wallet and I'll show you where that is it's close by run through here and it's always in one of these two dumpsters here go through them until you find the wallet and that's it right there and for some reason I included me trying to hit this fucking little mini game <laughs> I get so tempted to do these and then it turns out to be a fucking broken toaster on a game that I'm just gonna delete anyway <laughs> just addicted to going through trash can't help it do not open the wallet you can you can rip him off you can open that and steal his money and go back and tell him that you couldn't find it but if you do that then his perks are gonna be expensive so just leave his wallet intact take it back to him as it is and he actually offer you a discount on teaching you the the begging perks so give him that and he's happy and then you'll have a teach me tab now when you look at the perks here you'll see that if you click on them that they widen the field of success on begging mini games by one and then if you get the master one it'll be widened by two now you're probably thinking big fucking deal wow however what the game isn't telling you there is that if you open your actual begging perk your begging leveling tab right here click on that you'll see that for an expert beggar you'll get an item every time you successfully beg and then if you're a master beggar you'll get two items every time you successfully beg now this turns out to be pretty damn broken if I jump out of here and I go onto my main character in a different world who already has these see them both there already have them both and then when you beg people you'll see there that we're getting two items as well as money these items are pretty random but if you if you follow if you do this and then follow my money making guide video where you just stand at this train station for a whole day begging people if you look in your inventory after you've done it for a long time you'll see that you've got a big pile of bandages hiking med kits scratch cards bottles of rum it gets pretty nuts that that one is really strong so uh yep that covers five good building tips and i didn't mention earlier but langos he also gives you the quest to to own a dog which apparently keeps your morale up but I haven't tried that yet, so what adds? And for those of you who stuck around at the end, a little bit of trivia here is that these guys on the title screen, that's your in-game character, what you look like based on the character you choose to play as. So you've got the experienced old star, Smelly Jack, Lucky Luke, and I think this guy's just Common Hobo. So depending on who you pick, this guy will be the common hobo. This is what you'll look like if you're the experienced old star. This guy right here is who you're going to look like if you're smelly jack. And then that one there is lucky look. Just a little bit of uh, fun facts. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to the people who like to leave their own tips and advice in the comments. I like reading them and trying them up for myself. Leave a like if it helped you. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.